couple of decades ago, first in 1987 and then again in 2002, uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife entered into an agreement with the states of uh, Alabama and Georgia to protect the Gulf strain of striped bass. So there's two different strains of striped bass. There's the Atlantic strain, which is of course on the, you know, the eastern coast of the country, the Atlantic, on the Atlantic side. And then there's also the Gulf strain striped bass, which is more um, here in the, in the Gulf states. And so there, we entered into this agreement saying that we're going to try and continue uh, the existence of this species. And so uh, the, the probably the big picture reason that this is important is because um, we're fulfilling that agreement that we signed years ago and we're trying to uh, maintain the existence of this particular strain of striped bass. And then um, really the, the other reason this one of the other reasons this project is important is because um, there's very few things that fisheries biologists can do to directly improve fishing uh, for the public and and stocking fish that live is one of those ways and so you know when we go up to a a boat ramp and we see anglers that have that have harvested or or they say that they've caught some striped bass or white bass um, you know that that excites us that gets us pumped because we know that um, without our stocking program, these fish can't naturally reproduce. So, so without us, the fish wouldn't be there. So that's that's really exciting to us, and that gets us pretty fired up. Um, and then the other thing is uh, just having uh, diversity of options for anglers to fish for. Um, you know, North Florida is really unique in that we have so many different sport fish that you don't see in other parts of Florida, in Peninsular Florida. You know, we have, uh, you know, we have shoal bass, we have swanee bass, we've got yellow perch and dead lakes that most people don't know about. We've got the white bass, striped bass, you know, there's a, there's a whole plethora of different game fish species up here that English can go for. And if you think about just, you know, humans in general, we, we like seasons, we like diversity. Um, and these, these fisheries are, you know, they can, they can be year round, but they're also strongly seasonal. For striped bass in particular, they, they're they very strong in, um, in the summertime and also in the wintertime like we are right now. And uh, and we get a lot of anglers that, that really like these fisheries, they really crowd the boat ramps this time of year. And so we, we see its importance and we know that, um, that we're making a difference for them. Mm -hmm.